Oh, that's right. And we're supposed to have a little bit of music or something going on here. For, uh... There we go. Since we don't really use that music anymore. Is this the volume thing right here? Yeah. Does that work? Yep. Give it a try. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Give it a try. Hey, I think we're on, dude. Hmm? Yo, Keith's watching. Brad's watching. Yeah, yeah. Terry's watching. Hey, Terry. Good to see you. Yeah. I just loved. I just loved our own live stream. Oh, nice. Yeah. You know what I like? I like the prologue music. Isn't that kind of like nice jamming? Was this something you did with the with the kids at school? Yeah. Pop that together, kind of thing. Hey, hey, we're hey, on, hey. what is going on? I, I don't know. I practically do not yeah, I know. Think we're on, I'm a little, yeah. <clears throat> Let me slide over. We're hey, we're almost centered. Guess what time it is, Joel? What time is it, Keith? It is time once again for a Smack and Jack Live here yeah. in lovely Somerset Studios in Southern Chester, a very windy Southern Chester yeah. County today. <laughs> uh, I guess we missed the tornado, but we're getting winds from We're getting it, the so. remnants of it. Yeah, so, uh, wow, it's been a couple of weeks, hasn't it? It has been I've some I've been time. Uh, around the world, so to speak. Uh, you've been doing your thing, and uh, we're, we're back in action for for the foreseeable future, I think, Joel. Yeah. So, we're both under the uh, weather. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I brought back the plague from ancient Greece, <laughs> but... Uh, well, hopefully that won't interfere with, interfere with the show anymore. So, anyway, we got plenty of stuff going on. We got some stuff about the. Uh, our, our Shall we do our introduction page? first? Uh, are we going to do that? Then we come back and do that. Do yeah. we do that? See, it's been <laughs> so, so long, yeah. I have no idea. All right, so let's anyway, get into the introduction. Yeah, uh, uh, grab your cup of coffee. Uh, we're going to have a great show for you today. It's great to have everybody back, and we'll see you uh, in a second. From the Somerset Studios in Westchester, Pennsylvania, it's Smacking Jack Live with your co hosts Keith and Joel Wenderman. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, <we're here. laughs> good to see everybody on today. Jim, good to see you back today. Robert, good to see you. Linda, Joy, hey, good to see you. hey, hey. Good. We got a nice audience today. Yeah. Should we be a little bit higher up there? Uh, should we Should we tilt this a little? Just, just a little bit, maybe? Uh, uh, thanks, camera guy. Yeah, yes. thanks. That's right. <laughs> like they do on, uh, what's his name? Uh, Colbert does every once in a while. He goes up and... Oh, any thanks to cameraman? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Well, yeah, we, should, good, good, we uh, should actually hire a cameraman. Or no, something. that's going to cut into our deficit our budget. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what we got going on? Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on today. Um... Uh, in the prologue, what's what's the computer and phone update? Yeah, I want to uh, go over a little bit of woes with my computer update last uh, two weeks ago. Okay, uh, uh, something uh, with their website. Uh, yep. Joel's been working on the last couple right. of weeks. Keith's been working hard on it too. Oh, I have been it's working been very. A team. <clears throat> yep, <clears throat> I'm actually weak for it. Uh, jokes, of course. You got some good jokes from the book. Uh, heroes and rats. That's yeah. a, that's a segment we're going to be. We have a hero and we have rats. Yes, uh, trivia. Uh, I got some predictions from Greece I want to show everybody. Uh, I got a thousand of them. I'm only going to show you a couple. Thank you. And we got the fun facts of the day. Uh, we got trivia, the trivia answers, and then we got the ever popular birthday minute. So, yeah. and hopefully we remember to do our jokes today. Yeah, because last week <laughs> or a month ago we forgot the jokes, and man, did we yeah. hear about it? Yes, we man. did. And you know, the second we say goodbye, it's like ah, we didn't do the yeah, jokes. We didn't and, do the jokes. Uh, so anyway, anyway so uh, uh, all, right, all right. So let's talk about. My computer woes update. All right, so I'll try to do this real quick. A uh, couple weeks ago, I, I did a, it was like two weeks ago, I did a little video for my students at school. Okay. Um, it was a quick video, just do a little hand pattern and stuff, and I, I wanted them to practice at home. So I loaded that onto the computer, and then um, I put that on YouTube. However, before I unplugged my phone, the computer came up, you know, that happy little pop-up that says, you're ready for an update. Would you like to do it now? For my phone so I thought ah, okay I normally say no to these things but I said okay well five minutes later it said unable to update error and my phone my iPhone went completely dead it had uh, an Apple in the center and that was all I could do I couldn't uh, do I couldn't turn it off I couldn't do anything with it so long story short I was on uh, with Apple the next day for a couple hours trying to figure out she said well you need to update your computer well okay so I updated my computer 
Well, I tried to update it, but it wasn't updating because I was trying to update it to this year's update when I hadn't updated it to last year's yet. Oh. <laughs> so, so anyway, I ended up updating to last year's update on the computer, and then I was able to get my phone to work again. The, the point I'm trying to make is I was super irritated that my phone completely shut down, would not do a thing because my computer was not updated. That is really it, bizarre. Yeah, that really, really irritated. So the other part of that story is that I updated the computer, and hopefully our show goes on without a glitch today. Because, you know, when you update your computer, you have some, like, things that happen here and there that you're unexpected to to see or to have it do and stuff like that. What do you got over there, Keith? You're going to do a sound? Well, I was going to because I am not of the Apple family. Uh, I am I am a, uh, what do you call that, Android family. Sounds to me yeah, like enjoy. you got yourself a rotten apple. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Anyway, I, like I guess it. it's all that right. whole, uh, the, the whole, uh, I don't know, cloud it, thing. It's all connected to iTunes and the, the app yeah, the store. cloud, but I didn't yeah. realize those yeah. two things were, wow, that's, that's Very irritating. Yeah. It completely shut down my phone because the computer was not updated. Wow. That's, Very irritating. Yeah. All right, so enough of those woes. Okay. We're not here to bring you down in the no. morning. <laughs> we're here to lift your spirits. <laughs> that happens accidentally. You can do it, right? <laughs> all right. Let's move on. Let's right. get on to the learning curve. What yes. has happened over the last three weeks? Well, not too much, <laughs> I have to say, as far as uh, uh, the excitement and all that. But I want to show everybody what we've done on the website. Okay. okay. So do we have our website? Can we see that right now? Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. Does it come up yet? Yeah, it I, th like I think my up. I think mine's behind yours. Yeah, there you go. All right, isn't that funny? My phone is behind your phone, but mine's an Apple too. So. Right. <laughs> All right. So what did I do so far? Right here, I've added a Google AdSense to our uh, to our Smack and Jack live page. So this is a Google ad. You get the HTML um, code from. Uh, the AdSense dashboard. Okay. And you can get different size ads and so forth. So this one here, I, I selected this particular size to fit right in here as a divider from up here to down here. Okay. And I think, as I was telling you before the show, that you get paid per impression with these ads. Okay. Which means, you know, it's, it's maybe a few cents or something like that. You get paid per impression. So what that means is that you don't even have to click on it to get it paid. You just have to show it to somebody okay so anybody that comes to this page and sees this ad i'll get a couple cents okay okay right. now if somebody right. clicks on it then obviously you, you get a little bit more of the the referral fee yeah. okay uh, for that okay so okay. let me show you what else we do let's see the next hmm. page i want to show you is our blog page um where i've added some things there so our blog page has been a little stagnant lately because keith hasn't written his his blog post yet <laughs> right <laughs> right you're supposed to do a little Things writing for do. this ah, darn it. <laughs> keep forgetting okay so uh let's take a look at um this blog right here so if somebody were to click here it would take us to this blog but if you notice on the right side here now i have some ads and there's supposed to be a google ad it might take a second to load in here there uh, earlier this morning there was a google ad right there um, it's not loading, of course, right now. So uh, these are some other ads. This is the get response. This is my autoresponder ad. Okay. This is the click magic. This is the uh, the the website that tracks my clicks. Okay. okay. Who's clicking? Where are they coming in from? Okay. And then this is our Bluehost web hosting. So I've gotten all these, and these are all um, a referral program. Okay. So if somebody clicks on these and and opts in to get response, then we'll get a a referral fee for that okay. and it, it'll be a monthly recurring fee actually okay. okay so that's all there and then the last one I wanted to show you was the uh, the product page uh, we have kind of cleaned up the product page we've added more pl products <clears throat> um, we have we're gonna have to change this video too dude okay so wait here it goes here it goes I wonder if I have volume here Yay, there it is. Okay, so <laughs> notice that I have an island scene going on behind there. Right. So there's a video going on in the background. We're going to have to change this video and get some island music in there. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, idea, so yeah. we'll fix that up and we'll stick that video back in there. Okay. All right, and then we've added more products down here. Okay. All right, and then I added more, uh, the, actually those same items that I, that I showed you before on the other okay. page are down here as well. Smart Slider 3 actually had to contact 
the company and the, and the guy sent us out a picture. Um, he said, we normally do it by links, like putting links into text into right. a blog post. Right. He said, but I can create a picture for you. So that's what we did. We just got that one in the other day. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, so okay. that's that. And then our sliders down here. This is Smart Slider 3, which is why I'm advertising it here because we use the product okay. down here. Okay. Notice that they're all done. Check this out. When you oh, click here, yeah. it will take you to, whoa, there's a pop-up. Each one of these different slides here has its own unique and individual um, landing page. Okay, okay. I, I duplicated this particular uh, pop-up right here, but it takes you directly to the video. So I had to do, uh, I think I had to create like 15 different links okay. for wow. each one of these uh, slides. So that's what we've been doing on our website. So little by little, things are kind of coming yeah, together. Looking good, Joel. Looking good. okay, yeah. right? Looking okay, looking semi-professional. Mm -hmm. Um, that I feel comfortable that we can start spending a little money to run advertisements to that. Okay. Yeah, that sounds okay. Good. Very good. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that, folks. Let me know if you have any questions about that. I'd be happy to send out some videos how I did all that. Um, just, you know, don't hold your breath for a lot of that because it takes time. Yeah. Okay. Right? Yeah, okay. Very good. Very all right. Good, so yeah. I think we're Looks on great. to the jokes. Okay. Let's joke of the day. Let's liven things up here hey. a bit. All right. This is what uh -huh. everybody tunes in for. And it and it, once again, it's it's our... Yep, it's out of the Jokopedia. It's back. Don't All right, now these getting are some, one because uh, they only made one. Yeah, don't want this, folks. It, if you actually read this book, it would like steal away a good portion of our show. <laughs> yes, it would. Then we'd have to go look for another one. <laughs> That's right. Uh, okay. okay, so the first one's a short joke. Here we go. Joke number one. What did one elevator say to the other? What? I think I'm coming down with something. Oh, pretty good, yeah. <laughs> All right, joke number two. Now, this is a joke with dialogue between a patient and the doctor. Okay? okay. So the patient says, doctor, doctor, you've got to help me. My hands won't stop shaking. And then the doctor replies, do you drink a lot of coffee? And the patient says, well, not really. I spill most of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, one more, and it's the same type of di dialogue between a doctor and a patient. Okay, so the doctor says, I've had, or I'm sorry, let's start that again. I have some bad news and some very bad news. And then the patient says, okay, give me bad news first. The doctor says, you have 24 hours to live. The patient says, only 24 hours? That's awful. What could be worse? And then the doctor says, I've been trying to reach you since yesterday. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. All right. They are some quality jokes. That was a pretty good joke, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Pretty good joke. Pretty good stuff. All right. Yep. So good we're stuff. off to good stuff. off to the heroes and rats. Are we ready for heroes and rats? Heroes rats. Here Let's we go. Do. Heroes and rats. Oh, heroes and rats. Oh, oh, you know, oh. Okay. So. Whew, whew. All right, so we're doing Heroes and Rats first. Mm -hmm. So give me a second here, folks. I have to get to our, uh, I forgot. I have my slides. <laughs> my slides are a little bit out of order here, so I have to go backwards here. So let's get to, uh, so um, what are we doing for Heroes and Rats, Keith? A yeah, new name, t uh, Kevin. <laughs> uh, 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 what are we doing? We're talking about. Uh, yeah, so all right. <laughs> you told me what we're talking about. All right, so our hero of the week is happens to be one of, our, little drum roll one there. of our biggest fans. Yeah, one of our biggest fans. Let me get this going here first. Our our hero of the week happens to be our brother-in-law, Brad. Brad, yes. Brad, yes, yes. why is he our hero of the week? Well, because number one, he has um, he's been driving a truck for uh, 29 years. Okay. Right, 29 years. And Brad, I I think you drove a truck that looks a little bit like that. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe I'm off. Sure. I, but I'm I'm pretty sure it was a truck like that. Yes. You can correct us if if we're wrong. Actually, that looks a lot cleaner than the truck I've seen. Yeah, him in, that one. That looks sharp. I wouldn't mind driving. Yeah. That. Okay. So yeah. um, and he was driving with the same company for the last 10 years. Okay. Okay. So um, Brad decided to retire or to resign from that particular company. Okay. And um to to change make make a career change mm -hmm. basically yep, yep. right and and then move on to to uh to do something different um so we got um so he's our hero number one for you know almost 30 years truck driving 
and um, making a big it's a then, big step a lot of exactly. people think about that and just never do it and brad's done it and right making great. a huge step yeah. at, mm -hmm. at this you know at this point in your career yeah so we got a picture of uh, brad on his very last day of driving okay um and here's the picture brad i uh, bet you didn't know i took this and there oh, we are yay very good, very good. looking very happy yeah. looking very good. happy yep. in that picture brad Looks nice in a red cap too. Yes, he sure wear yeah. red caps. And up. I'm sure it does say Smack and Jack yeah, up there, just, but you just it, right, it, it's it. just the gang. Yes. Okay. And then we have a picture of what we think Brad might be doing. Um, and what we'll have more time to do. Right. Uh, in his new career. Right. Um, and it looks like this. Very good. Yay! Yeah. Yep. Can we get a? Oh. <laughs> So, so there Brad, you are our hero of the week. Thank okay. you so yep. much Very for. Uh, yeah, congratulations, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah taking right. a big step you. like that and all the best. Of, uh, just, just great. Yeah. So hey, Debbie's the, watching. Hi, Deb. The, so that brings us to um, our rat. The rat. Yes. Now, the what rat is the rat of the week? So the rat of the week happens to be. The corporation, man. Yes, and, always. And I've always been against always. corporations. Corporations are not good, <laughs> man. You got to like... Sorry. <clears throat> Going back to my high school days. <laughs> All right, so the ride happens to be uh, the, the company that Brad worked for. Not not so much that the company was bad. I, I, I don't know too much about the company. But on Brad's last day... Uh, ten years in. Ten years in. What, what happened? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Uh, right. He just handed his keys in. He said goodbye and left. And I and I'm thinking it's like they didn't, you know, maybe get a card or just you know, a, at least a beer. thank you. Or, or, yeah, yeah, you know, right. A, a pat on the back. You know, and, thanks for your yeah, hard work yeah, and all yeah. that. No, there, there was none Nothing. of that. It was just so that was it. So, yeah. um, you know what, Brad? We're going to toast right, right now, now. Yes, we to are. your career change. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. So all the best to you. Okay, brother. Cheers. Involved. Yep. Yep. Uh, and we're not doing this just because we want free boat rides. Uh, but we do want free but, boat rides. Yeah, That's now that you mention it. Right. Now that you mention hey, it. Let's toast them again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to double toast. There we go. Cheers, brother. All right, cheers. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, moving let's on. Let's move on. Move on. What do we got going on? Yeah, well, shall we do uh, that? Yeah, let's do the trivia. Let's see what Okay. Goes. Yep. So uh, let's get down to trivia. Now, once again, the trivia, we're going to ask the questions. Uh, we're going to go to a couple of different segments, and we're going to come back, uh, and then uh, we're going to look at it. So whatever... <laughs> question you know if you if you know the answer you write it down and we'll we'll look at it and see if uh, you know see how yeah. many how many right answers we get and, and if you get it right uh we will give you a big old congratulations we'll give you one of these things hold on a second we will give you one of these things uh shut up and if you get it wrong we will probably we don't boo probably anybody. do the same thing <laughs> yeah right <laughs> okay That's brother keith let's yes. move on to our tribute okay. go ahead what let's we got? go Legend has it that Marilyn Monroe wore nothing but what to bed. Now, I will cut one thing out right now. I know it wasn't her mind because she didn't have any. Oh, 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 oh. Right. Hey, didn't there have he one. goes again. Uh, right. In the Walt Disney film Pinocchio, which is the name, what is the name of the giant whale? Yeah, you know, I have to be uh, honest here. I, I, don't, I don't remember the giant whale. I don't remember watching Pinocchio in my no, entire life. All right, uh, moving on uh, here. That's a tough one. Yeah. Uh, the red soup, the red super giant star Beetlejuice belongs to which constellation? Hmm. Beetlejuice super hmm. constellation. Which constellation. All right. Uh, due to the extreme difficult in ascent, what mountain is nicknamed the Savage Mountain? Hmm. hmm. I think all right. mountains are kind of if you, you just left to be looked at. Yes, uh, they're good in pictures. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the most abundant chemical element in the universe? Hmm, I think I, I might know. know that one. Really? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then one more here. Uh, the Pope is guarded by a small force of soldiers from which country? Hmm. And that sounds like a trick question to me. Yes, uh, uh, it certainly so does. We're gonna all right. Let's, let's go so back. Anyway, okay. uh, legend has it that Marilyn Monroe wore nothing but what to bed. Okay. Second one in what. Or in the Walt Disney film Pinocchio, what is the name of the giant whale? Um, the red supergiant star Beetlejuice belongs to which constellation? Due to the extreme difficulty of ascent, what mountain is nicknamed the Savage Mountain? And what is the most abundant chemical element in the universe? Last one, the Pope is guarded by a small force of soldiers from which 
country. Okay. All right. We've got some, so, we've got some answers yeah, coming go in ahead already. And start plugging yeah. them in. Very good. And yeah. how about we go on to the, the facts of the day, and then we'll get to your grease pictures. Okay, you want to do okay. that? Okay, since yeah, we're, sure. Since we're yep. kind of yep. like right here. Okay, okay. yep. All right. You got the first uh, one? Facts of the day. Only 18% of Americans can drive a car with manual transmission. Huh. And I'm one of those 18. You can drive a stick, I, right? I can drive a stick. Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't for a long time, but yes. I, I've, I've had a car. I think everybody yeah. should learn at yeah. some point. If you weigh 150 pounds, uh, 68 kilograms on Earth, you would weigh 351 pounds or 159 kilograms on Jupiter. Hmm. Wow. So, that all right, is... ladies, let's not go to Jupiter ever, <laughs> <laughs> especially not in the summer. All right. Uh, U.S. and EU law requires electric cars to make artificial noise to make them safer for pedestrians. Okay, that, yeah, makes, that makes sense, sense. because yeah. they are pretty quiet. They are pretty they are quiet. Pretty quiet. You know, they don't uh, sound like a lawnmower. No, they don't. No. All right. I wonder if they sound like if they have that. What kind of sound? Because I've never heard it. I don't know. Maybe they... Uh, that would be funny. They put, they put a piece of cardboard in the wheel. So blah, 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 right? All right. Linda Carter. Uh, Linda Carter had only $25 in her bank account when she was uh, cast as Wonder Woman in the 1970 series. Uh, wasn't she uh, one of your favorite actors? Yeah, actresses? She, yeah I, I love Linda Carter. I, my, maybe it was the outfit. Uh, but oddly enough, I think now she has... Twenty-five dollars in her bank. Oh now. no! Yeah. All right. <laughs> Outer space, ladies and gentlemen, is only an hour's drive away. <clears throat> if you Did somehow it. drove your car straight upwards, you got four-wheel drive. Yeah. Yeah. Try it. Wow. An hour away. Huh. This is yours. Man. Uh, yeah. Beer uh, was illegal in Iceland until March first, eight nineteen eighty-nine. Now the date is celebrated every year in Reykjavik as. Uh, Bjord, Bjordagor or <laughs> Beer Day. Yeah. yeah that's something. Isn't it something? Try to pronounce that word. Up there in nothing but freezing. This, you weren't allowed to drink beer. 1989. That's yeah, crazy. That's, that is crazy. Yeah. So anyway, uh, the 1999 LG Nobel, <laughs> Nobel Peace Prize went to the inventors of a car with flamethrowers used to prevent carjacking. I love I think it. That's, I think that's great. Uh, Nobel I Peace Prize. Uh, it's going to throw flames at you to keep yeah. you from stealing it. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the best. Can actually. somebody tell us what LG means? We're, yeah. we're, we're stumped on what they... I'm sure it's obvious, but we don't know. Uh, somebody tell us what LG yeah. means. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Dolphins shed their top layer of their skin every two hours. Uh, that's kind of gross. Is that like you. a one piece or is that just like... <laughs> Makes you not want to get back in the ocean again. Yeah. Ugh. Yikes. Yeah. All right. One more. Uh, a transplanted great toad decreases in size to one third when transplanted to the hand. Yeah. I never knew that was called the great toe. I thought it was the big toe. Yeah, I just thought it was the big toe that's too. Just Everybody plain see old, that? Yeah. So if you have to put your toe on your hand, it's going to shrink. That's uh, <laughs> uh, that's disgusting. All right. Last okay. one here. Last okay. one. Okay. Uh, the first mention of baseball appeared in the uh, Whitehall Evening Post in 1749. Proving the game came from England, not America. Ooh, what do you wow. folks think of that? Um, baseball is not the American game. Wow. Man, we're going mm -hmm. down. Yeah. We're going wow. down. <laughs> all right, we're going to steal cricket. That's ours. <laughs> That's so. right. We're taking cricket. Cricket is ours. All yeah. right. Okay. So, what do we got uh, now? We have, whoops, not that one. Uh, yeah, we're going to go back. Second. We're going to go back to yeah. Greece here. Yeah. Give me a second. Let's make sure that I have all the... Uh, the Grease picture. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, I went to here. Greece with my good friends, uh, Jackie and Themis. And uh, Themis is Greek, so I went to see where his mom was born and lived and all that stuff on one, uh, one of the islands. And he hadn't been there since he was a kid, and I'd never been there. So uh, I'm surprised. Wait. I didn't realize he had not been back since he was a kid. No, uh, I think he was like 13 or 14, went over on a camp or a, uh, a, a church trip, uh -huh. camping, yep. tr something like that. And uh, yeah, he hadn't been back since. So. And you know, busy raising a family, working these many years, and he just said, "I'm going to do it." So, and yeah, he invited friend. me along. Nice. And, yeah, yeah, really, it's really where civilization started. You know, modern, a lot of modern stuff yeah. started in Greece. Yeah. So, show a couple of pictures. All right, here we go. Off the Greece, off the Greece, we go. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can. All right, sorry, folks. Um, yeah, sorry. Let's do it this way. Oh, come on. I should have gotten some of the music on the clip. It's, this is not the way Greek music sounds. All right, let's see. Uh, sorry, folks. I'll get to it in just a second here. Just a second. Uh, I've lost my upper icon here. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> come on. Let's do it this way. And we'll do it. 
this way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, come on. Boy, did you have him on a kind of like a... He keeps doing this and I can't get him to open up. Well, maybe we'll show pictures next week. <laughs> ah, they're right here. This is so annoying, folks. All right, let's see. View. Let's go view. Full screen. Yay. All right. Sorry about that. There it gets we go. I, so I can't get it out of that little... Oh. Okay, so here we go. What we got, Keith? Uh, okay, this, is, this was our... Uh, when we first got there, Thomas had to put up his Fly Eagles Fly thing, and of course I had to do my Smack and Jack. Oh, he brought that over yeah, with... Yeah, you know, yeah. for some reason I thought that that was already in Greece <laughs> there oh, waiting silly, for yeah. you guys. No. All right. Uh, this was our uh, hotel room... Uh, overlooking the Acropolis there. Yeah, it was just nice, great. Nice, we were, nice uh, view from the hotel. Uh, on the fifth floor. And, yeah. yeah, it was just great. Cool. Uh, and that's at night. And that was our first dinner up at this uh, rooftop cafe. It was uh, in between our hotel and the, the, the Acropolis there. And, uh, just just wonderful. Just, yeah. They, <laughs> they love to eat outdoors. The Europeans are all like that. They Nice. Eat, um, yeah. Uh, what else we got there, Joel? Uh, nighttime at the Acropolis. Another, nice. Uh, yep. It gets dark there. Uh, yes, it does get dark uh, at different times of the day. <laughs> okay, it gets right. It's dark here. Right. And uh, of course, I had to take a picture of uh, the Smack and Jack. Of course, yeah. Uh, uh, co host there in the Acropolis. Uh, that's the uh, Pantheon. Nice. Uh, up at the Acropolis. All right. Mm -hmm. And more of the Acropolis. Uh, keep going. Make them a little quicker there, Joel. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, okay, and then we went to. Uh, uh, hold on a second. <laughs> I can never remember the name of that island. This is uh, where uh, Themis's mother was born, is, is uh, Andros. Ah. And we rented this uh, three rooms out of this uh, small hotel, and it's just, just gorgeous. They nice. recently fixed it up. What is this? Uh, this is, and I should have gotten a picture of the bar. Uh, there are not a whole lot of bars in, in uh, Athens, but I found one bar that had uh, tons and tons of beers. Uh, so I go to the bathroom, and this was their uh, their sinks. They, as you can see, they're, they're kegs that are turned into uh Faucets. You step yeah. on the okay. step, the foot pedal there, yeah. and the water comes out of the taps. And which which leads to my question: What did the toilets look like? Uh, were they the, the toilets? Toilets? No. You you wait till you go home. <laughs> ah, no okay. toilets in Athens. All right. Uh, just another street scene when the site, okay. sun was going down. Nice. Uh, in, in Athens. Uh, Who are where, these people? Uh, my, my friends that I went to uh, went to Greece with. Nice. Thomas and Jacqueline. Nice. Uh, yeah, and we got our waiter to take a picture of it. Cool. Just just feasting on some of the local. There was music playing in that back. Uh, or if you look through and on the other like side. what we have right now. Yeah, yeah. So right, yep. music going mm -hmm. on. Yep. All right. Good. Uh, what we got here? And this is uh, in Athens again. This is uh, Hadrian's Arch. So this is a Roman, and they said it was actually bigger than the the, the uh, Acropolis when it was wow. in peace. Amazing. But, uh, yeah. Amazing. So that's from, you know, that's thousands, thousands of years. Yeah, yeah. Well, hundreds of years. Uh, that, well, it's that, thousands. thousands. It's, yeah. it's newer than the uh, the Acropolis, but it's still, you know, from Roman times. Yeah. You know, it's over nice. a thousand years old. So. Uh, and this is uh, yes, this is island of Poros, a uh, little place. It was just a little bit off the coast of Greece, and we stayed there uh, overnight one night, and uh, that just just that was the nicest day we had. Kind of rained the whole time. Ah, uh, really? Yeah, but th that day was beautiful. You took the Lunderman weather. With yeah, you, right? we sure yeah. did, boy. Yeah. I tell you, but anyway, that was just gorgeous. Yeah. And this is. Uh, down at, I forget the peninsula that this was on, but it's uh, Sun Yun. I, it sounds very Asian, but uh, this is another temple of Poseidon, and it overlooks uh, the uh, whatever bay that is. Okay, just gorgeous. A it, big it, bay. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's uh, the sea or a bay or, but anyway, it's it's, it's really beautiful. lots of water. Uh, lots of water. Lots yes, of water. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And that's another another shot of it. Okay. Uh, Yep, yep, and that's, and, that. and that's pretty much. Uh, I had thousands of, uh, you know, but I would recommend it uh, if you ever thought about going to Greece or and there's islands, you know, the, the real popular do tourist destinations or uh, with the white, white buildings and all yeah. that kind of stuff. But anyway, nice. it's very good. I, yeah, I think bravo, people should, Keith, uh, bravo. Should uh, travel. Thanks for sharing. Travel more often. We all just and got, everybody will have a. We all just went to Greece. Yes. On your dime. Oh yes, yep, yes, yep. And, and now and we now don't we're need to back. Go. Yeah. We don't need to go. <laughs> right now, we here. don't need to go. Yeah, we don't need to go now. So, uh, all, all right. Anyway. Thanks, okay. Thanks what for do we got? Yeah, all right. Yes, I think yes. we better get back to the trivia answers because okay. I see that yes. people are over here like they're they're chiming in everything, and yeah, uh, Kevin, thanks. Uh, the sitar music, right? Turn up the sitar. We don't know if that's a sitar or well, or it's, a, it's something <laughs> with a tar in it. That's right. Sitar guitar. All right. Let's see what we got here in our trivia trivia. 
answers. Let's get. Let's see if I can actually find okay, them again. All right. Obviously, finding things to this morning has been an issue. You read them off, and I'll see an if issue. anybody. I think. Okay. Got a all right. Here. Here's uh, Keith. Had had a favorite here. He had a response to this one. Um, all right. So legend has it that Marilyn Monroe wore nothing but what to bed. All right. Did anybody come up with this one here? Um, I've got whale with a question mark. I don't think that's it. I see carbon. You think? I'm toasting with my orange juice. Switzerland. She probably wore Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So okay. here we go. No, let's find let's... out here. What we got? Chanel number five. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Did yeah. she wear that to bed? Like, like she like douse herself and then. I thought that was a news program. Get it? <laughs> In the Walt Disney film Pinocchio, what is the name of the giant whale? What do we have, folks? Uh, what do we have? Well, Kevin said whale with a question mark, so maybe it's whale? Whale? That's... Okay, here we go. Monstro! I Monstro. knew it! Did you? No. Really? No. I, no. <laughs> I, no idea. No idea. All right. Very good. Moving on. <laughs> the red super giant star Beetlejuice belongs to which constellation? Did anybody chime in on this oh, one? Oh, goodness sakes. Um, uh, I, I'm thinking Milky Way, but that's just because I had one yesterday. Oh, uh, uh, Debbie got Monstro. I'm sorry. Oh, good job. Hey, congratulations. Dad. Sorry. Hey. It's hard keeping good up job. with everybody. Yes. <laughs> it's, hard. <laughs> it's hard keeping up with our show. <laughs> sorry, Debbie. Right. All, right. All right. Let's find out. Did anybody get this one right? All right. Beetlejuice is part of what? Orion. Oh, okay. Yay, Orion, Orion constellation. Oh, oh, maybe the Orion constellation. Oh, Orion. That's yeah, it. That's yeah, it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm thinking like Oreo. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Sorry All right. About that. Yeah. Huh, the extreme okay. difficulty of ascent. What mountain is nicknamed the Savage Mountain? Now I cannot remember the one that I was thinking of because I heard an uh, NPR show the other day. Anybody have this one? Um, Anybody? Anyone? All right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, K two. That is not the one I was thinking of. I was thinking of what okay. is that? <laughs> K2, I have no idea. That's probably somewhere in some other part of the world. All right, what is the most abundant chemical element in the universe? And now, we do I have believe, an answer. Somebody, yeah, Kevin, uh, you put down carbon. I think that's what you said too, right? Did, did I say, say carbon? Yeah. I think you said yeah. carbon too. Let's see. All right. Uh, no, wait a minute. Somebody said, hold on. Hold oh, on no. I, uh, no, I didn't. Somebody I didn't. did put hi hydrogen. Hold on a second. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, it is hydrogen. Good job. Uh, Barbara said hydrogen. Yeah, very All good, right. Barbara. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yep. Okay. All right, so I clicked that prematurely. Very good. All right, last one. The Pope is guarded by a small force of soldiers from which country? Uh, and we have one answer, uh, and I was going to say Italy, but that, it sounded like a, you know, a, a trick question. Yeah, Barbara so. says uh, Switzerland. Yeah. I am going to agree with her. Okay. I'm going to agree with Barbara neutral. on this one. Okay, here we go. Switzerland. Oh, yeah. very good. Yeah, bravo. Very good, yeah. Well done. All right, guys, thanks for playing along there on uh, trivia. Yeah, very good. Very yep, good. All, yep. That was all great. You know how we much research I do on that trivia? You know how much research I do? North Face Mountain. Is that what K2 means? North oh, Face is it? Mountain? No, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, what? I, I, the, the research I do on the trivia is just to look up. The trivia fact and it's website. a lot more research than I do. I gotta hand it to you. So anyway, let's. Uh, so if you're okay. doubting anything, I mean, all those facts could be completely wrong. Yes. Everything that we just told you, but do your own research, you know, because I've got you started. Or we, yeah. We've gotten you started. We've, okay. Yes. And then when you right. find out more stuff, let us know, because we're, yes. we're 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 like a sponge. We just want to know everything. Uh, okay. <laughs> it leads us. So we're getting. I think we're more like a show. rock, dude. Yeah. <laughs> or or one knowledge, of those opposite Knowledge hits our head and bounces yeah. off. Boing, 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 boing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got the birthday minute coming up. Ladies birthday and minute, so, and oh. we almost forgot. All right, we almost forgot to get everything out for the birthday minute. Yes, yes. Okay, but we're, so, we're here. All right, you ready with the birthday yeah. minute intro, which yep. is right there? Okay, yep. Okay, be ready okay. to press that button. Okay. And here we go, birthday right. minute. Here we go, and go. And now it's time for the Smacking Jack birthday minute. Birthday minute. Hey, folks, if you have a birthday happy this birthday, week. Happy birthday. <laughs> I thought I was going to cough up my breakfast on that one, but uh, very good, very well, good. Well, thank you for sparing us. Uh, what did you have for breakfast today? Uh, so far, coffee. 
Nice. All right. Well, thank you for sparing us the reincarnation uh, of uh, Mocha. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Mocha. Okay. Problem. What's right, that going to tell you know, uh, Before we get to our local birthdays, All right, there's go ahead. quite a few uh, celebrity and, and well-known birthdays. Uh, Ulysses S. Grant was born this day in 1882. Happy birthday, uh, Ulysses. Ulysses. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, and I tell you, and I doubt he's going to be watching today. For some reason, he's out golfing or something like that. Um, <laughs> Casey Kasem. Remember Casey yeah, Kasem? Casey Kasem and Countdown. Countdown. And who you else? Could, you could do Casey very well. I, I used to be able to, and I can't do him anymore because I haven't heard him in so long. Mm. But he actually did, uh, he was Shaggy on Scooby-Doo. Oh, uh, born okay. this day in 1932. Wow. Uh, Jack Klugman. Remember Jack Klugman from, uh, he was on The Odd Couple, and the one I liked better, he was the uh, forensic pathologist. Uh, that's another trivia question. What was his name on that? Anyway, he was born this day, uh, 1922. Wow. Yeah, he, he was right. an old. Uh, and one of my favorite bands, the B-52s, Kate Pearson, was born this day. Uh, and I don't know, exa- well, you get it through the math because it was from a different thing. Uh, she's 71 years old today. Okay. The B-52s, wow. Kate Pearson. Yeah, that's 71. That's that crazy? Ace Freely, the lead guitar from uh, the rock band Kiss, is 68. He's got to be 110. He's only 68, which wow. is weird, because they yeah. came out a lot earlier than uh, the B-52s. And, wow, uh, yeah, okay. And uh, remember Sheena Easton? Sheena, uh, a lovely yeah. Scottish girl. Had really, really bad music, but she's a very <laughs> lovely lass. Uh, she is 60 today, goodness sakes. So she must have been... Uh, she's very like early 20s. A, a few years older than you. Yeah. Uh, but she was out. That was early. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you, Joel. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, anyway, what do we got closer All to right, home, All right. So closer birthday. to home yes. today, we say happy birthday today to Dan. And happy birthday to Uncle Dick Smith. Oh, yeah. Uncle Dick. Yeah. yeah. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yes. So um, Uncle Dick was born uh, one day before dad was okay, okay we'll come back yeah, to that yeah, in just a minute okay, okay? Yeah. okay. all right yep. so moving on to uh tomorrow the 28th we don't have a birthday on here yet we'll come back to the 28th okay um monday the 29th we say happy birthday to jim and i'll say jim conti is my uh, high school band director a huge inf- influence in my life so happy birthday okay. to jim. yep and uh john happy birthday and megan happy birthday on monday birthday guys tuesday happy. the 30th we have happy birthday to joanne Wednesday the 1st. Happy birthday to John, Lauren, and Scott. Yay! Happy birthday, happy birthday, guys. birthday guys, on Wednesday, May 1st. Wow, May. All right, May 2nd, we say happy birthday to Meredith. Happy birthday, Meredith. Happy birthday. Friday the 3rd, happy birthday, Dan, and happy birthday, Laura Lee. Yeah, happy birthday. And on next Saturday the 4th, we say happy birthday to George. Woo-hoo. Yeah. Well, happy birthday, everybody. Happy All right. birthday. And we just want to bring attention to uh, tomorrow, the 28th, uh, would have been our dad, yep, Monk, Monk Slenderman. Yep, yep. He would have been 89 years old. He, would have been, uh, he made it to 88, did he? Yeah, yeah okay. he made yeah. it to 88. Yeah, wow. And I wanted to show you the picture, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to go back through that whole scheme that I did oh. to bring up the other oh, ones. Oh, goodness. So. so. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. So we'll, yeah. we'll send out a, Thoughts a picture out to, of that. Uh, so. Pop, and if you're... Yep. In, uh, yeah, if you have a past father or a, a, a parent or something, think about them on their birthday. Yeah. It's, you know, they're always close to us on our birthday. So, uh, okay, I think Joel, that's, that I think better that's be about it. Because, it. We've um, butchered enough of your time. Yeah, for, thank uh, you for all of your time here. Um, and it's great to see some new faces, yeah. uh, you know. And, yeah. and it, you know, our audience is getting bigger and bigger. Uh, it's Exponentially. Like, exponentially. <laughs> Whatever that means, exponentially. That's a big word. Right? That's. I think that's how I get my shipments in. Isn't it exponent? Uh, expo- <laughs> wah, 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 uh, express. Wah, wah. Fe- Federal Express. Federal. Federal exponentially. There, there yes, you go. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So okay. you know what, Keith? Coming up a little bit later today. Actually, right after I close up shop here, um, I'm I'm dreading it. Just a little bit. Oh wait, wait. We, we're just doing our wait. Let's get out of that birthday minute. Oh, we're, oh uh, no, birthday, we're sitting yeah, here with the yeah. okay, uh, birthday All right. outro. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, All right, uh, uh, okay. Alright, so anyway, I, Joel, we are rustier than an old yeah. door hinge, I'll tell I, you I what. just got a text message. Remember, you're picking up Sophia at 10.15. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know, if, if whoever that was was watching this show, they could have just said it on the show <laughs> as right. a comment. 
Come on, yeah, we so need I get all the go audience s- we can get, ladies and gentlemen. I get to go sit outside now and watch a lacrosse game for yeah. an hour or I so. I think I'll staple your hat to your head because yeah. it is quite windy I have out my, there still. my winter coat in the car. Yeah, goodness uh, So anyway, I guess that means we better wrap up because yes. I have to get running out of here. So uh, we're going to be back next week, Joel. I believe we will good, be back good. next yeah, week. Thanks very, yeah. very much for stopping by. Yeah. Uh, and it's been great, great again to see you, Joel. And uh, uh-huh. uh, we're going to do it again next week. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, and remember, you deserve a thought of your own. So be in touch to learn, laugh, and live. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Check it out, check it out.